Hey guys, uh, this is Justin Polite. Um, I'm in Kendall Jacobs Al Math 1100 class, and uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to work on a take-home um, exam. Uh, there's going to be some questions that we're just going to work on uh, together. Um, now I uploaded this on my computer, so I'm just going to show you the um, the, uh, the the done version. But um, I included details and steps, and we're going to go ahead and work on that um, just uh, uh, just together. So, <clears throat> my first question that I have is, is for manipulatives. And uh, the question right here, I don't know if it's hard to read or not, but let me blow this up just a little bit. Or a little bit less, there we go. So our first question right here is five plus negative three. And what the question reads is, is that <clears throat> we're supposed to use chips, ions, or counters, and the number line to model 5 minus negative 2 and 5 plus negative 3. So what I showed here, we can actually work on this first one, is... Um, we're going to work on 5 plus negative 3. So if we have 5 and we're adding negative 3, so that's what we're kind of showing here. So I use these tile spacers. Um, these are also kind of like um, um, just a, a method that we can count with um, and show and model. So I have 5 pluses right here to represent 5. And I wrote that we start with 5 positives and we need to add 3 negatives. So if we ask ourselves that, adding three negatives is also taking away three positives. So if we add three, if we take away three positives, then we only have two positives left. So that gives us positive two. And the number line shows right here is that if we start at five on the number line and our guy's facing towards the positive direction this way, and we're adding negative three, he's got to turn around and he's got to walk backwards three spaces. So that's to four, to three, and then to two. And we end at two right there. And that gives us our answer. Um, we'll go on to another question here. So we have <clears throat> six, two, base five, plus two, four, base five. Now, um, what the question reads is uh, use base five blocks to model addition and multiplication in base five. So what I did for this um, problem is I modeled it using a method of using base blocks, but it's a little bit, it's another method. Um, I have seen this once, I have, I've done this before. Um, it might be not as easy to understand, but I do have another example with another problem down here using base blocks that might be easier to see, and it's kind of a table. So basically what we do for a problem like this is we start with the ones place when we add these, um, these base five um, numbers, these four numbers. So we start with the one. So two plus four um, gives us the six number, but six is not in base five. So we get one five and one left over. So we'll put the one five above the six and we'll have one left over. We can leave one unit right here. And then we look at six plus two. Now six plus two gives us eight and then plus the one above the six, which is the one five. And that gives us um, nine. So in base five, we have one five we have one five and we have four left over. So our answer is one four one and base five. Now that was a little quick, so if we look at these base blocks, it's a little bit different. So six two and base five, there's one, two, three, four, five, six of these, and um, and then there are uh, two two units right here. And these base uh, five, these are in fives, so they're not tens. And then these ones is uh, representing two and four. And so what we do is we start with the one, so we go four plus two. So we'll go four, four of these, and we add the two, and that gives us six. But remember, we're in base five, so basically what we do is we regroup. So we'll have one long, that's what I have right here, one long, one five, and then we'll have one left over. And then we go on to the tens place. So we have six plus two plus one gives us nine, so we have six of these, and we add these two. And then we had the one regroup of along. That gives us nine. 
and then um, <clears throat> and then what we do is we'll have one flat because we'll regroup the longs because five longs is one flat so five of these longs regroup and then we'll have um, four longs left over after we regroup to the one flat so one flat four longs excuse me and then the um, the last one we just have one unit left over that gives us the one four one base five Now over here, it's just another method of doing this. Um, I don't want to spend too much time because I want to cover more problems, but um, what I have here is 1, 3, base 5 times 1, 2, base 5. And how I model that is I use the, the first, these, these ones right here, 1 and 3, and I model that right here. So in 10s, that's 1, 10s, or 1, 1, 5, since it's not 10s, it's actually 5s and 1s. So 1, 5s and, and 3, 3, uh, 1s. And then I modeled the 1 and the 2 right here. And what we do is we look at this like a multiplication table. So one long times one long gives us one flat. One long times a, one of the ones gives us a flat, or gives us a long. One long times one unit gives us a long, and then so on. So how we approach this problem without doing it traditionally is we just start with the ones. And um, we start with three times two gives us six. And since it's base five, we get one five, and we get one left over and how we do that is we just regroup so since we're using ones we look at these ones and three times two gives us six so um, we've already displayed that when by doing this multiplication table because if you see we have our columns right here with these three ones and one and three and then the columns right here and one and two and there's three ones right here so all we have to do once we make this table is we just have to regroup so we start with the ones, we'll regroup the ones, so we need five ones that will make one long. And then we regroup the longs, five longs gives us one flat. And then once we, if we need to regroup the flats and then the cubes, then we'll do that. But in this case, we don't. So we look what we have left over, we have two flats, we have one long, and we have one unit left over. And that gives us two, one, one, base five, it is one, three, base five times one, two, base five. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into another problem here, and let's look at this here. So, what do we want to work with here? Um, let's look at finding the um, the nth term right here. So we have a sequence one five nine thirteen, and if we look at this sequence, we notice that the difference between the um, the numbers. Are, is a p uh, plus four so that that we know right away that this is an arithmetic sequence now the question to the problem is what is the um, what is the 39th term so we're trying to find the nth term basically and I've just kind of chose that we wanted to find the 39th term so in order to do that we need to use a formula and our formula that we're using is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times our common difference and how we fill that in is right away I can look at my common difference between the numbers is 4 and a sub 1 is the first term and that's 1 so then we move on down from the formula and we just start plugging in so a sub 1 is 1 plus our number um, that we're going to be using for our nth term is 39 subtracted 1 and then multiply that by the common difference of 4 and if we combine like terms if we do the 39 if we use our order of operations we do 39 minus 1 parentheses first is this 38 and then and then we do the 38 times 4 and then add 1 that will give us the 156 and 156 is um, a sub 39 so what that means is the 39th term is equal to 156 and we're able to find the nth term 39th term by doing this this uh, formula here and that was arithmetic sequence down here is also the geometric um, but we're gonna go ahead and move on a little bit I think we've been recording for about 10 minutes so I'm just gonna go a little bit longer or I'm just gonna do another problem here um, let's do a base number right here um, or Mayan maybe Mayan um, let's look at this Mayan right here so if we look at these Mayan numbers right here so our Mayan number is 984 and we're trying to show um, 984 now how we do that is um, the Mayan numeral system goes in ones, twenties, four hundreds, and eight thousands. That's the decimal system. So they also have symbols. I didn't show all the symbols, but basically the dot means one, the slash, the 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 dash means five, and then the uh, shell means zero. Now 
it, it's different for the different places. So if dot means one, if it's in the twenties place, a dot in the twenties place that means one originally is going to equal twenty. So we basically just have to plug in these symbols into um, this table in order to um, in order to display our number. So this is how I did 984 is two dots um, in the 400s place gives us two 400s which gives us 800 and then in the 20s place we have um, four dots which are in um, 20s so 20 times 4 gives us um, 100 and then we have um, uh, or, or um, I'm sorry uh, 20 times 4 is 80 sorry sorry and then um, uh, the the dash right here is also um, is is five worth five, but in the twenties place it's five times twenty, which gives us one hundred, so that'll be one eighty. And in the ones place, since we have four left right here, we'll just put four dots, and that equals our four. And all we have to do is just add these up, and that gives us our number of nine eighty four. Babylonian's a little bit different. Um, it's the same by using symbols, um, except it doesn't use the same um, decimal point that Mayan does. Um, basically what they do is they regroup into 60s so in order to display 984 um, we need to start with our largest numbers basically so we have these tack these ticks right here and um, these ticks um, actually um, resemble uh, 60 and um, what we do is um, we just uh, we know that uh, 60 um, divided into 984 is 16 um, evenly so basically we'll know that we'll need 16 of these ticks so we just write 16 draw 16 of the ticks and that gives us 960 and then what we do is um, these uh, these bones right here these are actually worth 10 and we have two of those so we do plus 2 times 10 is 20 so that's 980 and then we have two four more ticks right here and these ticks are worth one and the reason why these ones are worth 60 is because these ones are supposed to be um, um, these are first um, these are on the on the far left so these are going to display in a decimal system m more value so these are actually in the 60s um, the, these uh, bones are in the tens and then these ones are in the ones so this right here this symbol this all these symbols right here all together right here that represent the number 984 um, I don't really have much time uh, actually I'm actually out of time um, I really hope you guys enjoyed um, my uh, my lesson. Um, I, I uh, you know I I I, uh, I know I kind of talked really fast. I hope I can uh, do better with my videos. Um, I uh, um, hope you guys have a good day and and thank you. Uh, bye.